mind being married. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't mind getting married because my wife, my wife planned our whole wedding. And it was awesome. It was beautiful. And it was nice because don't, don't plan it because your friends will. My friends wanted like an ironic wedding. They didn't want a wedding like, dude, there's this awesome bowling alley in Eagle Rock, bro. <laughs> We have, the, we have the wedding of bowling alley. We have a bouncy castle outside, bro. We got like Jaeger shots down this water slide that looks like a dolphin's wiener, right? And there's like, a, there's a thing called Ride the Dolphin. You sit, there's a photo, but like, I don't want an ironic wedding. I got enough t-shirts of like, you know, like a, a dolphin and a pegasus having sex. I have enough ironic clothing. I don't need, our whole generation's ironic. I want it one day in a church in a suit that was rented in a limo and then see you in hell, we're going to Puerto Rico. That's all I wanted. Just a beautiful classical wedding, and we had it because my girlfriend, who is now my wife, sometimes I still slip up and I say my girlfriend with a wedding ring on, and it looks like I'm such a jerk or an incredible pimp, sir. Who knows? Who knows? Incredible jerk would be the reason on that. But um, this is the worst. My wife, uh, or the best actually, wanted to get married to church, and luckily my wife is a Christian, so it was cool. I'm, I'm kind of like agnostic, like I'm, I'm, I'm an atheist. I don't really believe in anything, but after you turn 30, if you're an atheist, you just tell people you're an agnostic. Because then you don't have to argue with them in line for coffee because no one knows what that word means. Like, what? Like, like, I like Jesus and lightsabers. I like everything. I'm cool. Oh, yeah, lightsabers, Jesus. That's awesome. That's totally cool. That's fine. That's fine. And uh, my wife is Lutheran, which is the most, the most awesome form of Christianity because it's like, like, like I, I'm, a, I'm half Hispanic, so I grew up Catholic, which is like, oh, that kneeling and bending and the wafer and, the, and there's... Latin and Spanish and French and what am I? Am I Elvis or James Brown? It's so complicated. It's a complicated and then there's this old guy and I can't wear a condom and I live in fear of a baby coming out of her and should I punch her and say it was, I don't know. I love you so much. But Catholicism's like, it's intense. I give you guys respect because that is some intense stuff to be involved in. But Lutheranism is like Christianity light. It's like 30 minutes, a little bit of singing. You can lip sync. They don't get mad. Fist bump, peace be with you, see you next Easter. That's all it is. It's maybe the best religion to get involved in. If you guys haven't picked one yet, I would say Lutheranism. And uh, here's a little secret for a lot of couples in the audience, a lot of guys living in fear of getting married. The marriage isn't the worst part. It's the pre-marriage stuff, because if you get married in a church, you have to meet three times with the priest or the pastor in like this weird, awkward marriage counseling session, right? And you talk about everything, your relationship and money and sex. But like, so, so what, what do you find most difficult about sex, sexual intercourse with your future wife? And I'm like, talking about it with a man of God. How about you? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't want to talk reverse cowboy with a guy who talks straight to God. I'm totally cool with this. So just. <laughs>